What's up guys, how you're doing? Welcome to another video. So, fairly quick, kind of I guess almost follow up video for you guys today. This is a follow up video to the review or the initial review for sports photography that I did on the Canon R6. If you've not seen that video yet, don't worry, I'm gonna link it right here. Go watch that one, pause this one, go watch that one, come back and then watch this one. And then you'll understand what we're talking about because today's video is all to do with memory cards and how long it takes this camera, the Canon R6, to clear the buffer after you have taken a load of images. Now, after I put out the last video, I had lots of questions. Understandably, I figured I would get a load of questions all about the Canon R6. But who would think <laughs> that the most popular questions I would get would be all to do with memory cards. I got asked so much about memory cards, the buffer speed, which card did I use, loads of things like that. But you know what, as much as I joke, that makes sense because it is a big thing for sports and action photographers who will be using the burst mode in this camera, firing off a load of frames, potentially up to 20 frames per second if you're using the electronic shutter. You need to know that when you're doing that, the camera is capable of processing those images and clearing that buffer quickly for you so that you can review your images on the back of the camera, pick the ones you need and send those off to the sports desk. So that is what we're going to talk about today. Before we do, going to talk to you guys about two things. I'm going to ask you to hit the like button on this video. It helps me out loads on my channel and I really, really appreciate it. And the second thing I'm going to talk about, I could not believe, I couldn't believe it when I saw this stat the other day. Check this out. More than 85% of the people watching my videos over the last 28 days have not subscribed to my channel. I don't know what that tells me. I, I, I think it tells me that 80 85% of people watching my video are crazy. Why would you not subscribe? Why would you not stick around and watch loads of these other videos that we're making for you all about the Canon R6? So that's what I'll ask you guys to do. If you enjoy it, please do think about sticking around. Hit that subscribe button and you can see a load more videos. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get into this. So what have we done? I have got two different types of memory cards for us. First of all, I have some Transcend SDHC ones. These are supposed to be some pretty decent transcend memory cards. I say supposed to be, I know they are. I use these routinely in my Canon 7D Mark IIs and they keep up absolutely fine with my sports work. Really, really find these to be good. I also have got myself a pair of the Lexar Professionals. Now these are supposed to be some properly rapid SD cards. These are the Lexar Professional SDXC2s. Um, these are supposed to be pretty decent and in fact they have on the front 250 megabytes per second but I, I believe that's the read speed. I think they will write at about 95 megabytes per second, but they're supposed to be really, really quick. So we're going to test them both out. Now what I'm going to do, to start with, I'm going to use the transcend cards and I will shoot bursts of raw, recording the same raw images to both memory cards. And then we're going to see, we're going to time on my phone, how long it takes to clear that buffer. We're then going to do exactly the same test with the Lexar professional cards. And then we're also going to try both shooting JPEG as well, because a a lot of you guys shooting sports and me when I'm shooting sports, especially when it's part of my workflow and I'm sending images live, I am shooting JPEG. So actually for me, that's going to be what matters the most. Now, going to say this is not a scientific test, right? I will be firing a burst of photos. I'll hold the shutter down for like 15, 20 frames. It's not going to be exactly 20 frames. If it's 19 frames, 21 frames, look, who cares? Roughly the times are going to match up, right? We're here to see how it works in the real world. This is the real world. It's not going to be too scientific, but I'm sure it's going to work. Right, let's get into this. First things first, we need to put both the transcend cards into this camera. Now, as I said, we are shooting uh, in bursts, we're shooting raw, and we're recording raw to both memory cards. So I'm gonna fire off this frame, and then we are going to set the timer so that we can record exactly how long it takes to clear the buffer. Right, let's do this. Let's fire off some frames. I'm gonna try to aim for about 15 frames, right? Let's go. Okay, now I'm starting the timer. We're seeing how long it takes for this buffer to clear, how many frames we're recording. It's actually taken quite a while, you know. 
Okay, so we actually ended up taking 24 frames. And to clear that buffer of those 24 frames, it actually took 15 seconds, okay? So 15 seconds to clear the buffer of 24 frames when recording raw images to both memory cards. So right, first things first, let's switch the memory cards to the Lexar Professionals and let's do that exact same test again. Okay, so we have loaded the Lexar Professional cards and we are going to do exactly the same thing. So it took about 15 seconds on the Transcend. Let's aim for roughly the same number of frames and then we will go from there. Okay, right, so I've started the timer. Let's see what we got. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> whoa, guys, guys, throw away your Transcend memory cards, buy yourself some Lexar Professionals, because that took, and, and in fact, by the time I realized it had done it, it was probably another second on top. I timed 4.33 seconds, but in reality, I think it was more like three seconds. So, so wow, look, that, that's crazy difference, right? Still recording raw, raw images to both memory cards took three seconds to clear. That was 23 frames as opposed to 24 compared to 15 seconds on the Transcend memory cards. Right, let's switch and let's try this with JPEG. Okay, so we are back to the Transcend memory cards. Let's not give up on them just yet. Let's see how they get on with JPEG. So exactly the same test. Let's just reset our timer. We're gonna fire off about that rough same amount of frames and we will see how long it takes to clear this buffer. Let's go. Okay, and we're timing. Let's see how we, oh, and it's done. Okay, okay, right. So basically, it took no time at all. The second that I went to review the images, we had 22 frames there. So the JPEG was recorded instantly. There were no buffering times using the Transcend. So that, that, that tells me that the Lexar cards are gonna do absolutely fine, right? But look, let's just double check it. Let's see how we go. Let's get these Lexar cards into this camera and let's give that a test as well. Let's just format these cards. Okay, so exactly the same again. Let's fire off some frames. And yet, so like, I didn't even start the timer. I've gone straight in to review the images. 23 frames are all there straight away and they are done. So you know what will be one more interesting test? I am gonna fire off a massive burst of frames shooting in JPEG with this camera and I will see how long it takes to clear that buffer. So let's just fire off a, I'm not talking like an insane burst, but let's fire off a real big burst. Let's go, right. Okay, let's see how long it takes to clear that. Oh wow, guys, no, no time at all. 113 frames recorded as at the point that I let go of that shutter button. No time to clear that buffer at all. That's using JPEG to both cards. Look, we need to do this right. Let's try it. Shooting raw to both cards. Let's see how long it takes if I fire off a real big burst of photos. Right, let's give it a go. Let's fire this off, let's go. Okay, we're timing that down. It's clearing it now. It's working through those images right now. Still going, done, right. So that was what did I do? I did 130, so, so 94 frames, right? So we fired off 94 frames, raw images, recording raw to both memory cards, 94 framed burst. And that took 9.04 seconds to clear that entire buffer. Guys, that is so, so impressive. I think this is an absolutely non-issue for you guys who are worried about the buffering times. Get yourselves some of these Lexar professional memory cards. I'm gonna link these in the description below so you can go and find them. I think I should just say, please don't write off your Transcend memory cards. There is a big price difference between these two. So worthwhile looking at these for any other types of cameras. I've used these in my 72 loads. I've had no problems at all. So don't bin off your Transcend memory cards just off the back of this video. I'll link both in the description so you can go and check them out if you want to.
Guys, I think that's about it. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe so you can stick around for future videos. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video.